Hi guys, you might be wondering what is SAFE and how is it different from Scrum framework. SAFE is known as Scaled Agile Framework. This is one of the framework which is used at the enterprise level. As you should know, Scrum and Kanban frameworks are very commonly used in Agile methodology. These two frameworks are used at the team level or I can say at the project level, not at the product level or at the enterprise level but whereas safe scaled agile framework is used at the enterprise level not at the team level or the project level the main objective of the safe is to help cross-functional teams to collaborate more effectively and find a solution to the problem while scaling agile beyond a single team safe is a combination of lean and agile and the core principles of SAFE is to minimize the cross-team dependencies and to maximize the customer value. It is mainly focused on time, building a project step by step and to deliver the product in smaller pieces. Same as Scrum sessions or daily stand-up calls during the Agile, Scrum of Scrums is conducted daily for SAFE. Usually Scrum Master from each scrum team is invited to participate this is not a, a status meeting this meeting is same as the daily stand-up calls or scrum sessions for the scrum masters this will be maintained or aligned and synchronized between the multiple agile teams safe framework is divided into four segments like team program value and portfolio Portfolio is the team who is responsible for the entire system. In other words, they are responsible for funding, funding the products. The key players are Agile leaders, the portfolio managers or the chief product managers or the enterprise architects or some organizations include CIO, CTO, other executives within the group. They maintain a, a prioritized backlog for both architectural and the business epics in order to execute the organization roadmap and to develop a new products program level program level does contain multiple teams like business owners architects or devops or customers they work together under program management to deliver the value streams and these value streams are delivered in agile release train at the program level one of the key aspect of program level is to generate the high level estimate of how long it will take to complete a, a feature and the breaking down the epics into the form of the program backlog this ensures consistency of design and deployment across the a release range value stream is all about value deliverables the layer is responsible for sequence of activities to provide the value deliverables to the customer it does contain a, a series of steps to build the solutions that provide a continuous flow of value streams which are carried over the agile release train and develops to the customer let's say event triggers when bank customer wants to transfer the funds then series of steps needs to build to complete the successful transfer that gives value stream deliverable to the customer team level which is used by the scrum or kanban framework they build the project or multiple projects which may become one product they're responsible to self-organize and complete the requirement from the beginning to the end the key players are a product owners a scrum master business analysts developers and testers they're responsible to define build test and deploy the project solutions in a shorter iterations so guys take your choice safe methodology has been successful methodology and it is value focused methodology for scaling agile at the enterprise level it helps to plan budget and work with the cross-functional teams so if you are a business analyst scrum master or product owner or if you have a good communication skills or working for similar kind of a roles then there is a possibility to switch over to safe a safe methodology and i'm sure certifications will be quite helpful to prove yourself 
I wish you very good luck and thank you.